Now, speaking of Kefels, <clears throat> um, there is an ongoing thing where Kefels is being like continually outed as being like a creepy weirdo or something. Um, so I'll read. Uh, this is actually a mod. There's a, an X and then like a mod. Uh, this goth aunt hunter, which is also a weird, creepy name. Uh, says, I was routinely messaged by minors who had been told their information was being shared on a forum of transphobic Nazis. Terrible. Usually asking for their chat histories to be purged before fleeing the server and community completely. It wore me down. Keffels has routinely thrown the safety of trans people under the bus while claiming to support us. She cannot claim to advocate for us while she remains on this path. Uh, someone replies with some uh, concerns that the story may be false, and he replies again saying, Bruh, she called me up during one of her coke benders earlier this year and told me about the plan she was making to kill herself by speedballing. It was very cool how she ghosted me after she got help in rehab, though. I'm very glad that Keffels did not kill himself, because then I would be blamed for it. His coke would be on my hands. Uh, Goth Aunt Hunter again says, It's not a parasocial relationship. Clara... That's a very cursed name. Clara called me up when she was on a coke bender and told me the plans she was making to kill herself earlier this year. I was making plans to be at her wedding last year. That was supposed to happen before she and that partner had a falling out. Um, and then this is the ex-partner, Althea Euphemia says... Is the ex-partner in question, I'd like to point out that the falling out was being left homeless by Clara after the swatting while she lived in a luxury apartment. I was abused and traumatized enough that I let her push me into homelessness. She lost it on me because I tried to write down her abusive words so she couldn't deny it later. I'm the only one who's ever reasonable, bitch, shut up. You have terrible abandonment issues. Uh, I can't say anything without making you cry. <laughs> Such healthy people. Uh, he continues, again, this is apparently Keffel's ex, that they were engaged with each other. Engaged in the demonic definition of the word. Uh, we were doing a rental app. All I did was ask if she could put down self-employed or Twitch as, for employer. Uh, she totally lost it on me and dragged me over the coals for trying to wake her up some days after the swatting so we could look for somewhere else to live. This was a day after she woke me up at the prior hotel to say we've been docs and how much money do I want to just disappear. This was less than a week after she asked me to marry her. <laughs> um, these text messages. Leaked text. And this is Signal. So this is an encrypted application, but they didn't put a timer on their messages. So I guess he can just scroll up and screen capture it whenever he wants. Keffels is in gray talking about various things, including the job position for him. The markings are in the original picture. Keffel says hi, so he starts the conversation. Um, says, I know you don't want to go back to New York, to York Street, so I'm thinking of staying at the night at my mom's. This isn't healthy, we need more space. Uh, he says in reply, can we not just talk to each other more kindly? Keffel says, you won't even acknowledge what you did to me to upset me and then wouldn't let me decompress when I got mad and snapped. And it's not fair because I was shitty to you, but I asked you to stop so I could calm down. I'm the bad person here because you don't respect my boundaries and I despise that. Uh, the spouse or partner asks, I'm sorry, I really am having a hard time understanding what I did to offend you to start. I was a little confused about if your name or your position of self-employed would be applicable. Keffel says, literally was trying to follow the DBT book advice on removing myself from triggering situations. Dude, it's surreal. Like, can you not function? These people cannot function. These people cannot function. They can barely navigate social situations of any kind. And they want to have complete and total control over your ability to speak on the internet. Remember, this is two men pretending to be women trying to have a conversation. Spell says, I never really meant anything more than that. I appreciate that. Do you? You treat me like an abuser. Uh, he says, I was taken aback when you accused me of condescending. I never meant to. Keffel says, I don't think you understand the tones you use in your voice or your own body language. And when I bring it up, you say, I'm tone policing, but it sets me off because it says more than words. Because it's just a pattern. I asked not to be woken up. I asked for space when I feel like we're gonna, I'm, I'm going to have a meltdown. 
<laughs> There's always some excuse not to let me have those boundaries. And then I'm a bad person. Dude, I really hope that Liz Fong Jones has a life like this, where he's just like constantly chimping out and having to do hard drugs to cope with being such a fucking freak. I, I am I am blessed with with enemies that are fools. Uh, it says, Catholic, I don't like being shitty to you. I just don't have a way to get out of the situation. You won't let me remove myself from it. I lash out at you because you take away my agency. Yeah, you realize how shitty all this feels. We are at the lo ho at this hotel because of me and because of you not wanting to be too involved in my work and the dangers involved. Meant your obsect wasn't as good as mine. You got hurt because of me and I got hurt because of you. It's fucked up. You just buy a dog like a normal person. Then here are my handwritten notes from the 16th of August recording her verbal abuse. You see, two days later, I was discussing medical leave so I could stand by her. A little over a month later, she left me homeless without any help whatsoever. Homeless with no help after getting $100,000 to spend on cocaine. Funny chat, isn't it? Uh, then the X mod goes back to saying, I mentioned the abuse because I was affected. I see others who are affected now. It's not just a matter of ignorance when it comes to her being a danger. I'm currently in DMs with her ex-partner about her abusive patterns who friended me after seeing her, her my own personal complaints. And wow, I am learning things. Um, so Keffels is getting super mega canceled, I guess. Wet-ass pussy goblin decides to dump some messages from Keffels, by the way. Um, this is a screen cap of the Keffel's, uh, Catboy Ranch Discord server. Bambi says, oh my fucking God, Britnig, <laughs> Britnig, Britnig, what is the, okay, this is like a super, this is like a super pause area. What is Britnig? Is that some kind of like Pakistani name? Can someone explain to me what a Britnig is? Um, Britnig Perfect says, I heard that Keffels took a second phone to VidCon and when Destiny Bausch made her leave, her main phone out of the room, if she wanted to watch them hate fuck, she used her backup to film them. Then he says, Joe, you legend. Beardy, he, they says, I feel like you need to set up an alt-right paper trail so that when you send a wet-ass pussy goblin your Keffel story, you just use an account that was upon deeper inspection and will look like an alt-right troll account. Then when wet-ass pussy runs out with the stories, then the grand reveal. Uh, so what as Pussy Goblin says, so Keffel's Discord is planning to make fake alt-right accounts and give you fake stories, and when you post it, say you're working with the alt-right. What as Pussy Goblin responds to this, saying uh, the same thing. Keffel's Discord was planning on pretending to be one of Clara's abuse victims to bait me into publishing their story, only to use the story to portray me as working with the alt-right. These people are psychotic liars and manipulators. <sighs> Yeah, dude, I know. In July of last year, we made a nice comprehensive post about how Keffels was a sex pest, weirdo, thief, drug addict, con man who exploits and manipulates everyone around him. And I was called a Nazi bigot fascist murderer for it. I told you, we told you, we spent weeks compiling conclusive evidence that Keffels is not a good person. And the response I got was having the internet literally destroyed so that one website could not stay up for an entire year. And now you figure out, oh, actually Keffels is an abusive monster. Yeah, I know. You know how I know? Because I run a website called the Kiwi Farms and I read the thread. Go figure, chat. Okay, so now this is an interesting person um, named Soul Bunny. Soul Bunny, she, they, trans flag, artist, trans activist, and video essayist, and Twitch affiliate streamer. So you see this thing right here? This is a Twitch affiliate streamer. Um, I am going to refrain from describing this person with any of the words that come to mind because every single one of them is the most abhorrent string of words that you've ever possibly imagined. Uh, Soul Bunny says, this is a serious video that I beg you stop and watch. I don't know what to do. I hate to even speak up when I've long separated myself from everything. I don't know what to do when I'm being dehumanized to this degree for content. I literally have midterms next week. And this is in response to Keffels who continually runs these videos 
about how Soul Bunny is, he feels bad for Soul Bunny and Soul Bunny is a freak. Like these are like 14 minute long video exposés about how Soul Bunny is a terrible person. Soul Bunny can't stop lying. I feel bad for Soul Bunny. How I organize a harassment campaign. These people are abusive. I'll say it goes on and on. Soul Bunny needs your help. Hey y'all, this is a more serious video. I want to say like I feel so uncomfortable finding out this information yesterday. As with the day, I never talk about my YouTube until I'm in person, and because of all the like the hate videos that I get, that when you look at my name, and literally like I'm going down it. They hovered over one of my hate videos and one of my old protest flyers from 2020 before I even done YouTube came up, and I was like, "What the fuck is that?" And mind you, like I never watch these videos. I never. And for me to see that, and like get up and scared. <sighs> and for me to see that, it made me just like, what the fuck is that? And like look into it. So I clicked on it. And when I go and watch it, I see my legal name posted. And I see where I live shared. And just things that I'm just like, you don't fucking do. This shit just like got out of hand, like. Literally my first middle last name. My fucking Facebook page was shared. Articles written on me before I even was serious about YouTube. Like I only had one video out. Literally like before my second video. That video was 11 months old. Almost a year. And for all that shit. Just to come out like my little where I live. All these little like these things are just not fucking okay. Like. I do not feel comfortable with this information being posted. And you can try to justify saying like, oh, this is easily accessible online. But it's the fact that someone irresponsibly posted that on their platform as a creator. Like that is so irresponsible. This person's got docs. And you think that's okay just to go post where I live. And again, like I don't talk on these people. I don't say shit. I don't live in a big city. I live in a small college town in a rural area. Literally back in July was the last thing I ever mentioned anything about these people. And I moved on and say shit after I block folks. I just like let it go. I see things go down. I don't say nothing. I don't chime in. I literally have midterms next week. But Fuck, that ended very abruptly uh, and did not allow me enough time to get here. I'll play the next video while I get this set up. <laughs> After I block folks, I just like let it go. I see things go down. I don't say nothing. I don't chime in. I literally have midterms next week. But like literally, like I'm trying to declutter. When you look me up on YouTube, so my hate videos just don't pop up solely. Like it's just so disgusting. Like, but like literally, like I don't know what the fuck to do. Like this should not be up. Like this is next fucking level. And. I'm gonna, at the end of this video, like, show the screenshots that I had to block out, like, sensitive information where I live. Okay. And it's just like- I found it. This is fucking not okay, like- So what, the base of what happened is that Keffels revealed some information about where this person lived, and then, of course, because Keffels is the famous anti-doxer hero of the people that shut down the Kiwi firms forever and ever, for real this time, uh, obviously they're a hypocrite. And my response to this person can be summed up as follows. What's up? Can the low come up in your crib? Man, fuck you. I see you at work. Oh, nigga, don't hate me because I'm beautiful, nigga. Maybe if you got rid of that old yee-yee ass haircut you got, you can get some bitches on your dick. Oh, better yet, maybe Tanisha will call your dog ass if she ever stop fucking with that brain surgeon the lawyer she fucking with, nigga. What? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> yeah, God. Um... I don't know. It's I always feel like these people have such a small world. They have such an incredibly small world with such incredibly small concerns. Oh no, I was hacking made fun of by the Keffel half Keffel waffles. And when Keffels is like Keffels has to create drama, I guess, to like stay relevant. Because who the fuck cares about him? Oh gross 
drug addict who like tries to get kids hopped up on HRT because it's like a sex fetish. Like everything about Keffels is like a detriment to like transgenderdom. Anything that you want to point at in regards to like how um trannies are gross weirdos, you can point to Keffels for. I think this is the exact moment where Keffels like showed too much about this person. Oh my god, look at that fucking hair. Holy shit. A while ago soul bunny was trying to make this argument that she is like a really good activist she posted like a photo of a newspaper that she was on the cover of so i actually ended up looking for that article here's a photo oh okay so <laughs> that's funny so he just the soul bunny just said like i, I you know i was featuring in a magazine one so careful went deep diving to find this exact periodical where you could find out exactly where this person lives and soul bunny's like what the fuck is wrong with you that's funny well you did set the terms of engagement careful i don't know why you're upset Oh, and this is the best one. So there's like three separate incidents that have happened where Keffels is like getting yelled at by people. The first one is that um, Keffels' ex fiance came out and said that Keffels was like a gross weirdo abuser. Um, a mod from the Discord said that Keffels had zero concern for the people in the Discord getting docs as long as he was making money. Uh, then you had Soul Bunny coming out saying that Keffels docks him directly for the sake of making YouTube videos about him when he's just trying to stay away from Keffels. And then finally, there are more DMs linked where apparently Keffels made a, a sussy baka uh, joke in a DM. Uh, Keffels says, tweeting, I only have sex with girls with small breasts so I can close my eyes and pretend I'm having sex with a preteen and immediately losing 50,000 followers. Um, then Keffels also says, my racism is central to my pedophilia. Uh, Keffels then says, for instance, I would not have sex with Hassan Piker even if he was a child because he is Turkish. <laughs> um. <laughs> that's pretty. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the funniest thing he's ever said. <laughs> uh, Sora says, this is obviously a reach. That's obviously a joke among friends. And it's out of context too, which is really not fair. Whoever leaked this has zero integrity. I don't think this was the dunk you're looking for. And then Sora also complains. Oh, this is the best part. Sora confirms, because you read this shit and it's like so off the wall. It's like, obviously this is like a fucking fake thing or something. But no, Sora, one of Kefkel's actual friends and the current mod says, let alone this screenshot is over a year old. Uh, so uh, thanks for confirming that this is a real thing, I guess. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> These days, you can't really get away with jokes like that, but it's so over the top. If it wasn't Keffel saying it, it could be funny. But when Keffel says it, it's like, um, that's kind of sussy. Dude, Keffel should, I keep saying Keffel should just join the forum. I wouldn't ban him. I, I have an open, in fact, I think at a certain point, I even sent Keffel like a invitation to the site. Keffels is free to join the forum anytime he wants to. I'll even verify him. I'll give him a little a little blue check mark. I know those things are valuable valuable to internet activists and shit. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofer. Remember to like and subscribe.